All right, all right. Good morning, I'm Cecilia Vallo. Uh, you met me before. Let me tell you how this uh, problem appeared once we detected uh, our parents and how to face together. The starting point of the problem of uh, digital rights and the impact on education, something that we witnessed uh, in the morning, the role of uh, uh, big corporations and the information market development, the data market, the big tech companies, as you know, they are businesses. Uh, lately, they have been positioned in the stock market. Uh, they are very competitive. Uh, they won and overcame the traditional uh, companies, and we can see uh, Facebook and Meta, including Instagram and uh, WhatsApp, Microsoft, that is the owner of LinkedIn, uh, Amazon, or Alphabet. If you don't know, Alphabet is the mother corporation uh, protecting Google and YouTube. Uh, those is huge corporations, they have business in different sectors such as advertisement, software development, online trade, and beyond these specific uh, industries, each and every one of these corporations they created uh, lately a new business model the information data market based on the management and data processing. The informational market cycle starts uh, with uh, gathering data in service and that, that data capturing, elaborating uh, focused products such as algorithms, and then finally, once they uh, reach to users, these uh, focused products, so they are able to uh, reach us through research, advertisement, timelines, also uh, public uh, uh, resolutions. Access uh, to our data information, despite they are anonymous, and the, uh, the way and the predictive, the predictive and focused uh, products that they were able to create, they can modify our behavior and the way we think. Thus, this creates, and we talk about the problems that impact our own privacy and our freedom. Under this business model, everything begins getting data. This new oil, as the Economist uh, magazine said in 2017, in the cover with an image that uh, showcased this idea, everything begins with the uh, uh, classical services of internet, uh, the servers, uh, social media, and after that external things such as the software as a service, the SAS and the cloud, and now also the internet of things. All the smart devices, external devices that we call smart, such as uh, phones, smartphones. These are tools that uh, for us users, the ones on the left side of this light, they, we have uh, some functionalities and services that are very useful to work, to get together, to have fun, and for many other things. However, from the business uh, perspective, the customers of this uh, data market, these systems are uh, gathering and accumulating the massive custody of a data aiming at being processed. How this impact education? Well, big tech not only are business developing this new market, but big tech on the same time, this is something that we witnessed at the beginning of the conference, well, they found in education an amazing field to get bigger. And one of the mechanisms to get inside the education system were providing digital basic infrastructures. This is what happened in Catalonia uh, through Google and in other regions uh, through Microsoft. How were they able to introduce the system? Well, they offer a holistic package including email, using a servers, cloud, files, uh, IT tools, the classroom or the Moodle that we previously shared with you, the agenda, the calendars, the many other, everything included inside the hardware that they are introducing in the educational schools and centers. Well, at the end, we need to understand that we talk about a holistic infrastructure that includes 
includes loads of functionalities. When we talk about classroom and a Moodle, it's just a tiny a piece of a maze of many, many things that really impact schools. And in the end, it is something so basic that cannot be seen from a pedagogical and a digital rights perspective. We could talk a lot about Moodle and Classroom, like these two tools being the problem, but in the end the problem really impacts other functionalities. What are the main problems that we can detect? There are three main problems as it goes. First of all, datification, how to convert data uh, uh, and the many information that belong to uh, the analog uh, universe, the kids, uh, teenagers, uh, families. Just now they are in private servers that belong to multinational corporations and datification is a threefold datification. On the one hand, we have all the academic work and the assessments and the evaluation, all the academic data that are inside the cloud through different functionalities such as the uh, Word, different files in the cloud, also using the email and many other tools, right? This is what you can see on the left side of the image. And on the other hand, the personal and private interactions, such as the chat conversations, stocking images or personal files, and also the moods and the ideas and the things uh, that the uh, peop, uh, kids will have in the school that can be uh, also introduced through these uh, holistic uh, functionality packages and also the digital uh, file of the school before it was in black and white in paper physical in the archives of the school or in the teachers uh, rooms and now it's everything inside a cloud which is a foreign cloud well a uh, pen cannot digitalize a pencil cannot digitalize. However, using digital infrastructures in schools, life of schools and life in high schools, it are the new oil, new digital data. Thus, we are witnessing how the custody is in the servers that do not belong to us. They belong to big corporations that have their own agendas and ideologies. Well, when uh, dealing with the data protection in all these uh, data uh, packages uh, inside these schools, well, we have the feeling that protect the identity of the students, we believe that, but in the end, data are under the uh, custody of uh, multinational corporation servers, and uh, the impact goes beyond that. And sometimes we cannot avoid with the contract that we signed. We cannot avoid the marketing strategies and the product placement strategies that are made inside the schools once a package is deployed, this kind of uh, digital infrastructure is deployed. Students and teachers, well, they learn about the packages of tools and once they are outside the schools, it's natural for them to adopt these uh, kind of technologies that they have in the suite. So we talk about a marketing strategy that from a business perspective, it's brilliant. The Technology companies in the Catalan case, well, we are around 15% of the population, 1 million people that work in technology areas. They can adopt these technologies being minor and also without developing a critical thinking and a robust critical thinking. And the students, they do it under the non-questionable authority of schools that really legitimates without being aware the non-stop advertisement campaigns that really entails using mainly the whole day in the teacher's uh, case more uh, time than with students all these the digital technologies so we talk about identification marketing strategies and thirdly it's very difficult to avoid uh, other problems such as the teaching and pedagogical problems once we analyze the educational consequences uh, of uh, being uh, with only one big tech in Catalonia, we realize that there is kind of a non-critical naturalization and non-reflective and non-metacognitive and we are not aware about what we have in the classroom and it's kind of a monoculture 
and universalization where internet is Google. That's how loads of students see things. Computers are Chromebooks and a digital world and plural world and the diverse world that we want to have that we are aware that really exists. It is a limited area, a pre-selected area and chosen by big tech. So from a teaching perspective, school are not any more a place to open new alternatives and new possibilities towards uh, what we could find outside the classroom. In conclusion, Digital rights in the educational field starts from basic digital infrastructures. This suite of tools that it's holistic and multiple functions. Well, what we have to pick, where to stock data, where not to stock data. It's not only a technical or a resourceful decision. It really impacts on digital rights and identification. And it's also a pedagogical decision that must be taken. Who is going to be the mediator to have access to the internet and what's the digital culture that we are offering to students? The group of families that I do represent, we get mobilized and we get in touch with Xnet and we wanted to know what would be possible. In this double fold uh, uh, strategy beyond software and the non tangible elements of this uh, digital education that we are offering, we developed uh, some uh, infrastructural alternatives, the DD system, we'll talk about it later and also offering proposals uh, towards digital education taking into account the uh, learnings that we'll have here today thank you so much <laughs>